This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog and welcome to the official studio room makeover tour type thing. Um, it's been a long one in the making, but I finally got this room looking a little bit better. As you guys can see, I painted my wall behind me and I also got my hair done. So a lot of things have changed in the past few weeks. I took a little break off of YouTube, but I am back now and I am super excited to share with you guys pretty much everything that I've been up to, starting with this room because this room has really been my baby. I'm trying to make it my baby. The last room makeover that I did for my bedroom, I really love the results. And I actually haven't been loving this room as much ever since I did it back like a six months ago. So I've still been working on it. I might still continue to work on it. I'm debating on painting this wall right here pink the same shade of pink as my bedroom and the same shade of pink that I used back here on my beautiful accent wall that I really love. So let me know in the comments if I should do that or not because I'm still debating it. I kind of want to, but I'm interested to hear what you guys think. So leave me a comment for sure. Yes, if you guys don't know me, my name is Tiffany. I run Tiffany on Instagram that you guys can find me at and I sell a lot of my art online. I'm currently a designer full time. It's been super, super fun. And this has become my office, like my studio room. I could really call it a lot of different things but this is pretty much where I do all my work. Currently at my desk right now. I'm starting with the wall back there, as you can see. I did paint little miffies and flowers on my wall. I did a little checkerboard wall. It was kind of impulsive. I randomly decided to just do it one night and I thought it looked really, really good. So I'm really happy with how it came out. Room painting time. I already got started and I did a lot of the checkerboard, but up there obviously is still not done. I'm gonna show you how I did that. Also my nails match currently. <laughs> it was honestly a lot easier than I thought it would be, but it took a lot of patience. I muscled through it and I was debating on vlogging it or not. I'm not gonna lie. It was really tiring. So I just did it all off camera. I think the vlog would have been like super long. So I decided to just do it on my own. But I just used the leftover paint that I had from my bedroom and it worked out really, really well. So I'm really happy about that. I think it looks great. And this is like the biggest change that I've done in here. I'm not gonna lie. I think it's so good. I've realized over the past like year or so that my environment really affects how I feel and how I work. And so I've really been working hard to make my environments like something that I wanna be in and to work in and to look at and stuff. So this has been part of the change. I think I really needed to do this in this room. I know I painted the walls white and I want to like them, but something still feels off and I don't even know what it quite is yet. But I honestly loved the process of painting this wall. I kind of did it really lazily so I didn't even mark out the grid perfectly so literally don't look too close at it I just took like a square I measured out the squares put on the wall and I drew around it and then I moved it up and I did it again so I didn't do like a straight across grid because that would have just been really tiring and I do have two secret miffies in here that have their eyes closed because they're sleeping so please be gentle in this room because they're sleeping Stay tuned for a desk tour and let's jump into the room first. Feel like I need to explain everything that's going on behind me. Also, do you guys like my little guys? They're little cats. Look at them, little kitties. Also, I went full blonde in case you can't tell. Um, yeah, I bleached all of my hair and my roots are already coming in. Don't look at them. <laughs> there are some secret sleeping miffies in case you haven't been able to tell. There's another one over here, super cute. So we have my big shelf. I'm sure you guys remember seeing this in the background. I'm still messing with the placement of it. So maybe I'll move it eventually. These shelves, I actually didn't like, oh my gosh, my ring was really loud on that. Um, I did not like for like a long, long time. Cause I just felt like they're really old. They are really old. I've had these since I was a kid. So I've just kind of been keeping them, but like furniture is so expensive. And when I was redoing this room, I really wanted to cut the costs as much as possible. So one of the things was using paint that I already had on this wall and I really love how it came out because I just feel like that was like the best possible outcome of having it come out looking good and also not costing me a lot of money. And originally when I was doing this room, I actually wasn't sure if I wanted to paint the furniture pink or if I wanted to paint the wall pink. And I ended up doing the wall for now, but I might end up going back and doing some of the furniture so that it feels new. I don't know. I just feel like maybe it's because I've had these for so long. They just don't really like speak and connect to me anymore, but I revamped what's inside of it. So now when I pack orders and stuff, 
I can come over here and just grab a lot of what I need. So I have like my sticker sheets all down here, my little fishmail one, little bunny one. So I can really come down here and grab anything I need. And also I used to try to have everything in this room as close to my desk as possible. But over the years, I've kind of just given up on that because I've realized that I'm not gonna be able to do that because I have so many different stocks currently in stock in my shop right now that I'm gonna have to get up and move around. But I do have a little tiny station at my desk so that I can try to minimize running back and forth, you know? But going into what's actually in these shelves. So we can start from the top and work our way down. As you can see, I've moved this so that it is no longer right in like the center of my wall where it used to be. It's actually a little catty corner now. So it's right in the middle of where my walls meet and I think it just makes the room look a lot better. Like as you can see, it just like opens up the space a lot more I feel like. So starting all the way up here, I have a pusheen box or actually a bushin box, which is not only festive for Halloween, but also it's white. So it looks really good with this room. I used to have a different pusheen box up here, but I just felt like this one looks a lot better. And then I put some of my little line friends plushies up there. So I have this really cute one and like the little guys can come out of it. So I took the peach one and this is not like the cutest little guy you've ever seen. He's just dressed as a little chipmunk and so he technically goes in there But I like to put him on the very edge like this so that he can just hang out and then right here We have a kind of matching thing This is a little house from Sumi Kokurashi and this actually belonged to my hamster fish who passed away like a couple years ago He was my baby my best friend honestly And so I really miss him every day So I keep his little house up here to kind of remind me of him and it just goes really well the little log up there So I love them together we have a boxu box one of my favorite sponsors honestly and then we have some meeting dream boy zines that i made back in college and then over here we just have some prints i believe these are the lovely meadow prints and then we just have a cup and coloring book that I never really use. And then down here where I can actually start reaching a little bit better, this is more of like at my waistline so that I'm able to grab stuff from here. But I like to try to put prints on the back of these shelves for easy visualization so I can see what's actually here. And then I have some pictures of just me and my best friend. These are some of the new prints that we got and aren't they so pretty because they're silver and these are amazing. I literally love them. We have bubble mailers, of course, very important. We have a little bird here and he protects them. And then down here is where I mentioned all of the stickers are. I just think they're super cute down here. And these are some of my current favorite designs and they came out during my Halloween launch this year, which was my favorite. And down here, we just honestly have some like packing stuff that I don't really care much for. I think that the shelf is super cute. So I'm really glad that I moved it from where it was before. And then right next to it, we have like this little baby shelf. I'm so sorry to interrupt this tour, but I wanted to announce really quickly that my Halloween Halloween series is officially complete. So I'm gonna do a little self promo. All of the new sticker sheets are all here. We have new little foam grips, which are all super cute, as well as <gasps> tiny keychains, the smallest keychains I've ever made. They're lovely. And you guys can check out all of these on Squarespace, which is the sponsor of today's video. You guys know I love Squarespace. I've been using them for literally so long now uh, and they really helped me run my business. Honestly, I couldn't do it without Squarespace because they are everything to me. I run my website off Squarespace. I run my shop off Squarespace. I use their commerce tools to help me kind of like figure out the money aspect of running a business online because I know this stuff can be really complicated. And if you guys want to start a small business, you guys should definitely check them out. And they also allow you to completely customize your website. So every single website looks different. Mine is obviously very, very pink to go with the vibes. But if you guys want to do something different, you definitely could. Honestly, the options are endless with Squarespace because they just make everything so simple for you that you're really able to accomplish everything that you want to, which is probably the most important part. I really hate when technology is what hinders me from like doing what I want to do, you know? And Squarespace just makes it so incredibly easy. So if you guys want to check it out for yourself, you guys can click the link in my description box and use the code Tiffany Wang for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and I will leave the links for you guys all down in the description box. Thank you again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And now back into the tour. So for this shelf, I cleared out a lot of the old uh, decor that I had. So I used to have a lot, a lot of super cute decor and stuff in here. But ever since like running my business full time, I really don't have space for it anymore, unfortunately. So I still like to have like little stuffed animals and like trinkets here and there when I can. But I've mostly cleared out a lot of space for like actual product. So this shelf used to be mostly all cute stuff, but now it's all product. And this first little box here, it's just cute stuff. I did make this a while ago 
ago and he's so cute he's my little baby and these are some of the fluffy lavenders that i've been selling in my shop the purple ones are definitely my favorite so i've been keeping these around in my room as well as in my studio sometimes i don't have enough to fill my order so i steal some from this little baby but i always make sure to replenish him he's not full ceramics i just painted like a fired piece with like acrylic clay but he's still oh my god i just totally took out that little corn guy get back on there he totally came out really cute though so i'm very happy to have him and he stays in here in this little cubby because i just think that's his little home and yes i do have some random things i have this thing that you can connect to your phone i used to use this when i used to play wild rift a lot on my phone and then this is just a tiny little tamagotchi that i have here i want to collect tamagotchis but they're kind of expensive so and then there's just some other old like college projects in here this is a little australian marsupials i'm messing up this little area i think this is a flower cap book they're all hand bound by me as you can see and then the next cube we have the fish mouth prints these are some of my favorite prints i've ever made and they are of course of my little fish mouth hamster who i spoke about a little bit earlier his house is the one up here because he was my baby so this is what the fish mouth prints looks like i think these are super cute and also i do have a lot of my products not only like for storage in this room but also for display and i feel like that's like my ultimate test of if i'm making quality stuff as if i'm willing to display it in my studio then i feel like i made something good and if i don't want to display it then it's like mm, maybe this wasn't like my best design you know so i really do like a lot of the stuff i have here which makes me feel like i'm doing a good job fishmo shares a little cubby with this really old hello kitty plushie that i have and i think it's actually passed down from one of my mom's friends but is she not like super cute i love her she's a little dirty but she's very cute we have more of these prints because they were really popular so i recently just did a restock so these will stay in my shop for a little bit longer and then these are just like some old files that i have for like business stuff um and then i have these two little guys down here this is just a little bunny and a little rock guy but they live in here too down here we have everything just for storage these are all of my backing cards either cut or not cut my thank you cards stuff that i use when i pack orders these are all my craft items so we have like craft bags without my logo stamped on them yet craft envelopes two little babies down here and then down here we have even more of my thank you notes and such and so it took me a while to organize this bottom part to be something that i really liked looking at up here we just have some miscellaneous stuff i got these new calicos recently are these literally not just the cutest little family of bunnies you've ever seen these little babies are called milk bunnies and i think they're so so cute you guys know i love calicos and i've actually gotten a lot more into them recently so this is my newest set they're a family of little milk bunnies i got these at barnes and noble for everyone who asks me where i get my calicos and or sylvanians from they have them there for relatively i think retail price they're so so cute and i have a big gripe about calicos when they don't come in cute outfits just because i feel like for some of them their outfits could be better but these ones definitely have the cutest clothes so i had to get them i love them and they've been living outside of the box so they just live over here now and i just like looking at them and having them for inspiration also i really like sitting on the floor here now so i feel like our next few unboxing videos will be on the floor and they will Will be very good because i feel like the background just looks so cute now like right here i usually film at my desk but i feel like it's equally cute if we just chill out here on the floor and i feel like it kind of gives sleepover vibes when we're talking on the floor so i kind of like it yeah you guys can also see all my new all my new trinkets and wares up close also as my stock changes obviously stuff's gonna change so that is pretty much this section over here super cute we already covered this guy as well which is super tall i feel like over here um it's just stuff that i use all the time time this little trolley has been my trolley of stuff that i just go to all the time for packing so it has pretty much every single thank you note in here every single backing card in here a lot of just like things i always reach for when i package stuff so i have all of that stuff in here so that's like really convenient for me and obviously it like rolls around and stuff so whenever i'm actually packing i roll it out to my desk area and we can start packing these are what i use to ship out a lot of my products like my sticker stuff and then i have smaller envelopes too not because i want smaller ones just because i bought these a long time ago during my etsy days and i still haven't used all of them so here we have a little birdie and then we have my sticker backings we have thank you sheets mini thank you sheets that i got recently keychain backings more business cards because i can never have enough business cards and my square form business cards that i use less often now and then over here we have bubble mailers rigid mailers as well so we have a couple of those 
photos. And then down here all the way at the bottom, we just have these like yellow bubble mailers and these big envelopes that I'm currently working through. And then up here, I moved my little house from over here where it used to be to here now so you guys can see it in the video because it's super cute. And I have a bunch of new phone grips in here that I got in the mail. When I get new stock a lot of the times, you guys love my stuff. So it takes me a while before I actually put stuff away since I'm gonna be selling a lot of these. Also, I'm gonna be at RISD Craft in October. So I will be back in Rhode Island to table on October 7th if you guys are interested. I'll be bringing all of my Halloween stuff, but these are the phone grips that I got in the mail the other day from my manufacturer. And I have these little white ghost ones, these little pink ones down here, which are my personal favorite. And I actually have one on my phone right now. And we have these little black spooky kitty ones down here for those who are a little bit edgier. They look a bit darker on camera than they actually are IRL, but they're also glittery. So they're really, really cute. But these are my new set of Halloween phone grips. And I just think they're so cute. And if you guys like ghosts, you'll definitely like these because like this one's a little ghost and this one is dressed like a ghost. This one is out of the package for some reason. Sometimes I have like free floating products for some reason, but is it not literally so cute? We also have these little cutie guys that live down here with my stickers and stuff. This guy's a little sharpener. This is an egg that I made a long time ago and I kind of love him. So he just sits there. Honestly, I should like make these and put them online because they're so cute. And then we have these that are actually all magnets. And this is pretty much the only magnetic thing that I have in this room. So they just stick there. And now we are officially back at the desk and I think it's time for a desk tour. First thing I wanna show you guys is what's currently sitting on my desk because there have been some little items, some little guys that have been sitting here for quite a while, uh, just chilling because they're waiting for you actually. I have a new phone grip and then I also have these guys which are all new and these are all the new things that we got in the mail for Halloween that are now currently live on my shop and I hope you guys are gonna love them. You can shop all of this on my shop online. Everything's available and I ship internationally but look how cute all this stuff came out. I literally love it. It took me so long to get everything together. This is what the phone grips look like and they're really strong. You attach them directly to your phone case they're really on there because I literally couldn't get mine off. It's a little ghost baby and I think she's so cute. Like, is that not just so satisfying? So they telescope out and then when you're not using them, you can put them in there. But I honestly love these. I like can't hold my phone without a phone grip anymore because I like got so used and accustomed to it. So this one is the pink one that I have with the little legs sticking out. There also is a little white one that's like literally a ghost, you know, if you're really into the spooky vibe. And then of course I have just my little hipper, my sunny angel hipper. She's super cute or he's super cute. You guys saw me stock my stickers a while ago, but it's my keychains that I literally just got in the mail. So these are my favorite set. They are these spooky sticker sheets. We have my fishmail ones that made a comeback. I don't have many of the fishmail ones in stock because they weren't wildly popular last time, but everyone was like begging for them to come back. So brought them back for a limited amount of time. These are the new keychains I got today in the mail. They are super, super cute. They're actually different colors on the back. So this one is white and pink. The other one is white and pink too. And the color difference is definitely there, but it's a little bit hard to see on camera because the pink is a pastel. But I really like the size of these keychains because they're like the smallest ones that I've ever made. So this one is one of them, which is the same design as the little phone grips. I made sure to make them a little bit different so that you're not literally getting the exact same thing. I literally love how they came out in the sizing. I think I'll be doing more keychains in this size just because I think they're really cute that way. And then we have the black cat, of course, as well. So this is the current set. Um, you can check them out online if you want to, but these are just the guys on my desk because I've been doing a lot of brainstorming about like photos, posting them, making reels, all that good stuff. So yeah, lots of new stuff for sure. Other than that, on my desk, we have my phone, of course, always on my desk. And then over here we have like my box of unfinished crochet things. These are all carnations that I haven't finished. My ducky has all of my crochet stuff inside of it. I am bringing fluffy flowers back online on my shop. So for a limited amount of time, I'll be making these for a while. They look like that. They're very pretty. I make carnations as well and they're lovely. And then over here we have a ducky pouch. This is one of the purple ones with the suns. 
Basically, I was debating on if I wanted to keep this one because this design is literally so cute. I listed a couple of these online and then I don't know if there's any in stock still. I'll have to check. They have little suns on the inside with a purple zipper and they're so cute. So I think this one is mine because this is baby. Uh, I didn't want to keep too many ducky pouches because I already had one on my own. This one's mine. It's like one of the first ones I made. But I've gotten a lot better at making them recently. So I kind of wanted to keep one just for myself. And also they're just so cute that like every time I send out a bunch of them, I'm just like, I have to part ways with my baby duck. What if I didn't? So yeah. Then we have just this little Pusheen figurine. It's a little coffee one. I like the taste of coffee, but I try not to drink it too much because uh, I don't want to drink too much caffeine. So this is my substitute. He has a little handle as well, which is like so cute. But I got this guy from a Pusheen box a while ago and I love him. And then these are my little drawers. These, oh, I dropped one, are the current washi tapes that I'm using to package my orders and stuff. But we have hot glue sticks in here, the miscellaneous pens in there washi tapes in here, you know, all the stuff that I always use. I have some miscellaneous stuff up here. I don't really know what's going on over here and these are just balls of yarn. But then this is the area where I pretty much get all of my stuff from when I pack stuff. These currently have my most popular items in here and I switch out this area pretty often. So these have all the spooky stickers that you guys have been loving, spooky prints, new Halloween stuff. We have these keychains as well. The space series is complete. And look at these guys, look at these keychains. We have a little cow in them and it shakes around. So you can be an alien and abduct your own cow. Is that not literally so cute? I have that one in purple as well, but none up here, I guess. And then I have just like my stickers. And down here we have some staplers. I think I keep like random stickers here that haven't found a home yet. And I think we've reached the official end of the room tour. I think this room came out really nice. It feels really fresh. And I think that it's really kind of the reset that I needed. I didn't really realize how much I was dreading working in this room until I literally started avoiding it. And then it's obviously really important to me to have a space where I feel like I'm comfortable and able to do work. Luckily and thankfully, I was able to figure it out for now. Let me know if I should paint this wall. I kind of feel like I should, but I'm also a little bit scared. I think it would look good, you know? So let me know in the comments what you guys think, because if you guys overwhelmingly vote yes, then I will paint this wall in the next vlog to come. And definitely check out all of my other socials. We have Instagram, TikTok. Um, I'm on YouTube Shorts now. So uh, watch those if you're interested to see little like clippets and teasers of my videos. I've been doing a new editing style that everyone seems to really love. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out. Say hydrate, take a nap, and I will see you guys when I see you guys. Goodbye everyone. Mwah.